merge you guys. Hostile fleet engaged. What do you think you're doing? Are you seriously think you're going to invade? Engaged. You must be an idiot. Just make sure we're not actually make sure we're not actually fighting an actual battle here, because that would be bad. Oh. Uh hey you guys. Go kill that for me. They're doing bad things. They're doing things they shouldn't be doing. Go teach them why they shouldn't be doing that. Enemy invasion defeated. Go show them why they shouldn't be doing whatever it is that they think they're doing. Oh, they actually tried to invade me. How cute. You tried to invade. How cute. As I'm pretty sure you noticed there, you did not have even vaguely close to the numbers that you needed to uh, accomplish anything. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Honestly, I don't even know why you bothered, but... Apparently you're an idiot, so... whatever. Uh, whatever, I don't care. He's declaring you you're their rival. How unfortunate for them. Hostile fleet engaged. Oh look, more people who think they can accomplish something with their lives. Ah, you're an idiot. Hope you realize that. System survey. Hope you complete. realize that you are a dumbass. Uh oh. Oh, well, never mind. For a second, I was concerned. Seriously, you are really trying to evade. You must be some kind of stupid. Like, for real. Some kind of stupid. There, let me reinforce my troops. Congratulations. You have, re you have met death. No. <laughs> Hostile fleet engaged. Research complete. Yeah, that was just sad. That was just sad. Seriously, dude. Seriously. Uh, since I apparently need to do something about you. Very well. I will. Hostile fleet engaged. I guess I have to leave a few forces here. At least for a little while. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh, no, 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 no. It's time to leave there, guys. That is a lot of fleet. That is a lot of fleet power. They just jumped in there with. Situation log updated. I mean, we lost because we retreated, because that's just going to go horribly for us. I do not want to be in battle with that many ships. Uh, with a fleet that is not prepared for it. Uh... Eh, your technology is not bad. I don't think I would get anything out of you, but... You guys are not bad, though. Well, we get tachyon sensors, I guess, which are not, which are actually useful because it's actually something that I require. That requires tachyon sensors that I want. So there's that, but eh, I mean we can do the research right now. So necessary? Eh, probably not. And I think actually that's probably exactly what we want to do. 
so yeah, get that done. Get that done. Where did you retreat to? Or where are you retreating to, I suppose I should say. Is that either of my bigger fleets moving up there? Doesn't look like it. Hostile fleet engaged. Alright, I want you guys to Yeah, blow these guys up so they stop being idiots and trying to stop trying to invade me. Cause you all are some kind of special. Don't know what you really think you're doing, but Situation log updated. Some kind of an idiot is what you are. Hostile fleet engaged. Alright, what are we engaging with? Ah. Situation log updated. Yes. Crap, they got away. Damn. Got away. Oh, what? Sargus system. Oh, did they jump in with their fleet? Thinking to accomplish something? And then decided that was a bad idea? <laughs> yes, they did. I guess they did! Alright. Well then. Well then. Are you guys passing through, or are you actually doing something? You are doing something, okay. Well, carry on. Carry on, then. Construction complete. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Yeah, you better run. What are you doing, dumbass? Situation ass? log updated. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Well, you're dying is what you're doing now. So whatever you thought you were doing, now you're just dying. So congratulations. You have killed yourself. By being an idiot. Now, using, losing that fleet was rough. Situation log updated. Losing all those ships was pretty rough. So I think I was replacing all the Reapers already. I needed to replace a shitload of Zeus's. It was three for the one, and then there was like nine, I think, from the other. So what would that be? Twelve total? It was nine total. It's all my money right now. But that gets the other fleet working, so that's okay. And then we had a bunch of destroyers that I had to replace, but... Or Corvettes, rather, that I needed to replace. But we're fine on that the moment, at least. How close are you to building that? Because I want this operational before we leave. Hostile fleet engaged. Uh, because that way, uh, we can stop them from coming in here with these little fucking invasion fleets that they apparently think is going to accomplish something. Because you're not. But apparently you're too stupid to know that, so... I also do need to be on the lookout for... Uh, outposts. If we see any place that they have an outpost, we need to kill it. Alright. 
think we're good. Why are you in that system? There's nothing in that system. Back to Narvo. Alright. Invasion Force. Time you get in the position, they'll be ready. So go, go, go! Any second here, that engaged. What just happened? Are we engaged in something that I need to be worried about? The fuck are you? Oh, there you are. And... No, but, but. That spaceport is a nasty entity. Situation updated. Oh, well, you're dead. Situation updated. You all really need to focus on the spaceport, because all those other things updated. that you're shooting at are not dangerous. Spaceport is, though. Hostile fleet engaged. Station under attack. Come on, sometimes it's here. There you go. Hostile fleet engaged. Really? You really feel the need to engage that? Whatever. Don't Situation really log updated. Don't even care anymore. Go ahead and blow whatever the hell you feel like up. Hostile fleet engaged. Fine. Oh, whoa, 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 phone. Shut the hell up. Whoa there. Whoa there. That's actually, that was my, uh, my normal wake up alarm on the occasions that I have to wake up in the morning. Which is not to this day. <laughs> Like, to go to work, type of thing. Which I don't need to do, thankfully, right now. Alright, so we will need you here, because that's where we're next invading. Right? Yeah. This will fall quick. Boom, boom, Situation boom, boom, boom. Enemy planet secured. Alright, now we can spread out and continue to inflict copious amounts of damage on everything. Engaged. All right, well, they still have a couple of sizable fleets lurking around somewhere, so we need to be careful. I have no idea where those fleets are, of course, but we do need to be on the lookout because if one of those fleets shows up someplace. Uh, could be bad, so we do need to be on the lookout. I mean, do I need to build a uh, defense platform there or something? Because you guys always seem to be fucking trying to fuck with Turbic. Situation log updated. Yeah, I might. I might. 
I might need to do something with it. I don't want to, but I might need to, because you're apparently determined, very, very determined, to do as much damage as possible to me. One could, one might even think that you don't like me! Which is just silly. Of course you would like me. Hostile fleet engaged. Yeah, so we are at 68%. Uh, and I need 88% to uh, force them to surrender. Hostile fleet engaged. And 100% to make them give me uh, the one thing. Hostile fleet engaged. Are you engaged? Good. Yeah, blow those guys up. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Hostile yeah, fleet engaged. Make them skedaddle out of the area. Wherever they end up going, chances are they'll go someplace that has a, uh, a force in place to deal with them. Maybe not, but there's a good chance they will. Okay, so I just need to keep an eye out for any, Hostile fleet any engaged. enemy fleets. Because I know there's still a couple fleets lurking around somewhere. So we do need to be on the lookout for those. And unfortunately, this is actually going to have to be the end of this episode. Hostile uh, fleet as soon engaged. as we'll... I guess we'll take this system first. Hostile fleet engaged. Both of the planets here. Enemy planet secured. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Enemy planet secured. Hostile fleet engaged. There we go. Situation log updated. Going to embark. Going to merge these two together again. Merge you all back to together. There's two more planets fallen. Wait, no, the Mafi, that's not. Never mind. That is not a enemy station, that is a friendly station. Tis a friendly station. Alright, now you can build a depth charge right there. Doing the depth charges because they're the ones that I have put everywhere else and they are... Oh wait, is it depth charge? Is that the one? Yeah, depth charge, okay. Because uh, it's the one that I have used as my defense station in most of the, most of my systems. So, I only have something else deployed where it's like really, like, a lot of potential for enemy, uh, 
forces to be like really strong or whatever. Oh my. There's a shit ton of planets in the system. Holy crap. Really? Hostile fleet engaged. When do we? Situation log updated. Yeah. Okay. Hostile fleet engaged. I'm a little concerned there, because it looked like you were intending to land uh, forces, which would not be good. Oh, I didn't want you to go there, you dumbasses. Situation log updated. Yeah, there go. Corgo. Corgo Situation system. log updated. Alright, you need to go help out of the Corgus system because there's a lot of planets there that we need to uh, invade. Situation log updated. Uh oh. Fleet inbound. Anybody near the uh, warp limit? You're pretty close to it. Get up there. Hostile fleet engaged. Oh shit! They're actually sending quite a few ships. In, Situation so we need to, we need to move. Hostile fleet engaged. Evading hostile fleet. Situation log updated. We need to move. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, shit. I need you down here with the rest of the fleet, guys. You guys do not have the ability to defend yourselves. You need to get the fuck out of there. He apparently doesn't have too Situation hell a lot of firepower, updated. but hostile fleet engaged. Three, two, one, retreat. Situation retreat, log retreat, updated. Retreat. Hostile fleet engaged. For real, dumbass, retreat. Situation log updated. Are you fucking shitting me? I'm gonna lose. I'm losing transports for no fucking reason. Why won't you run the fuck away? <sighs> Whatever. Whatever. That's infuriating. Uh, yeah, we pounced on these guys pretty hard. Didn't destroy anything substantial there, though. They all retreated before we... ...encountered anything too serious, but whatever. Come on, kill him! Kill him! What are you fucking doing? Oh my engaged. god, are you serious? Are you serious? Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Oh God. Situation log updated. What are you fuckers doing? Like seriously, what are you fucking doing? I don't I don't get it. I don't understand. Do not understand what just happened. I don't understand why you just stood there. Why you wouldn't fucking run away. I don't get it. What did you lose? Two assault legions? Alright. That's not that big a deal, but it's just obnoxious. Oh, it's just annoying. Um I don't know, what kind of what kind of troops are you? 
Alterans? Okay. Alright. Uh, make yourselves some, uh... Or we can make robot armies. That's cool. Don't really need any though, so it's fine. Oh. Oh, they. They surrendered. Okay. Never mind, we won. They left. They gave up. They retreated. So you guys are now my minions, right? Yep. And you have actually some actual fleets too. I didn't you didn't lose them all fighting me. You have two fleets that are still semi intact. So that's cool. Alright, well, the next fight is definitely going to be against uh, these guys, so. I am going to send the fleets to their various assigned stations uh, so that we basically can prepare ourselves for the coming major conflict. This was just a minor little venture. The real fight is going to come when we move on these guys. And we need to be prepared for that because this is not going to be this fight was outright easy in comparison to what we're going to have to deal with uh, against these guys. Alright, so third fleet, you lost, at the very least you lost these guys. You lost a lot more than that actually, but, you know, at a minimum you lost those. And I could probably give you the Cordit forces there as well. Right? Right. The Ejam forces, I don't remember where they came from. Second? Second. Yeah, had to be the second. So let you merge with them. The soul force, I think, also came from the second. I'm trying to send the ships back to, uh, like, reinforce the fleets to basically how they had been before we took up the losses. If I can manage it. Okay, now, verify, yeah, see they have to be a subject for a certain amount of time, uh, was that 10 years? Yeah, 10 years. Uh, in the meantime though, they will be able to help us, they don't like us and even slightly, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, 
death, because for them to actually be able to accomplish anything... Um... For them to be able to accomplish anything, they would have to go to war with me, and they would lose that war almost immediately. So it doesn't really matter if they like me or not. And with them on my side, that actually gives me a force that I can actually make use of uh, for fighting purposes. What was that? No. Army recruitment. Okay. That's good. I'll leave the two xenomorphs. How do I... Oh, there we go. Alright, go ahead and go merge up with them. Alright, so that's it for this episode. This is going to run a little long. I might even split it into two. We'll see. Uh, in fact, it's probably not a bad idea. Uh, Research complete. But, yeah, I might split this into two then, because that actually is probably, that would probably be helpful. Uh, uh, I guess build that. None of that I really am that impressed with, but... Oh, right, I control, I have another system now that I don't, I have a system that I don't want to actually have control of. It's fine that we have control of it for this exact moment, but I don't want control of it in the long term. Uh, yeah, why in the fuck? What the hell? Are you just retarded or something? Why are you... Why are you guys just, like, starving to death? Because apparently you're fucking stupid or something. I don't understand... ...what you're doing. Uh, but... It doesn't really matter what you're doing because I am going to build a bunch of power plants. Are you building that? No, you have one built already. Alright, get rid of the, or build the power hub there. Clear out these. Why do you have a robot? Get rid of that. No robot. Robot bad. Robot's bad. Don't want you. No robots to be had here, please. Oh. The Karamulons declared war on the Har, I guess, to finish him off. In their... by their thinking. I mean, they're obviously not going to be able to succeed, but they're certainly going to try. Ooh. That's a pretty good planet. That's a pretty good planet. I would take that. Those are also pretty good planets. Give me quite a bit of, uh... Good things that we could claim there if I was so inclined. Uh, I don't necessarily know that I want to, but. Good. Yeah, that's gonna go. That's gonna go horribly for the uh, Nahar. 
Gravilons are just gonna crush you now. <sighs> Sorry, Nahar. You're going to die horribly to the Kramulons, because you have no fleets left. I destroyed all of your fleets. And even even your automated defenses are basically non-existent. So you're really fucked. You are really, really fucked. Technically, that planet is... I do kind of want to build. Maybe not that one, but I do want that one. And kind of want to build on these two as well. Don't know that I'm going to. Um... Because it will, it would be kind of difficult for me to do it easily. Hold on, which uh, uh, ocean, ocean, ocean. That's uh, Tebadoran. Okay. Uh. Hold up. You can build one. Okay. Alright, let's actually do that, because... I kind of want another human colony. And for it to be a human colony, I'm going to need a continental. It needs to be a continental planet for it to be a human place, so I need to do that. Okay, you guys are doing what you should be doing. That's good. You are taking up a lot of time doing it, though. There's no point in fucking with that yet. Scientist has leveled! Yay! What are you doing down there? Eh, whatever. Um. Oh, did I lose? Hold on. No. What, uh... Oh, there you are. Let to say, where the hell did my, uh, my research guy go? Found him. Okay. Yeah, I might try to get the Ugerlock kingdom here to, uh, be my vassal as well. I might try to just get a ton of vassals rather than take territory for a little bit. Because... Oh jeez. These guys. These guys are ridiculous. Ships upgraded. These guys are ridiculous. Two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. I think I had done eight before or something, so that gives me 16, 18, 20, 22. Okay. Ajam has built five, six, seven, and do 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 eight, nine. There we go. Once Don Light, once all these ships there that are being built are completed, I believe I will have built myself back up to the strength I was at before uh, I lost all those ships, I think. Not completely sure, but I think. That'll put us back to where I was. So do we get money from... No, I guess we don't. I was gonna say, do we get money from our uh, vassal? But I guess not. They just uh, are like a completely independent entity, but then they're forced to join us anytime that we do anything basically what do you got yeah not, not nothing really to speak of but oh, look at this oh the sor sargass place right What happened? Oh. Okay. Sure. That was interesting. Oh, and another thing is if they joined me. If I do them this do it this way, I actually get to to absorb all of their fleets once I uh, absorb them, which is yet another reason why it is probably better to do it this way than the way I've always done it previously. Now, why? What happened to the depth charge? That was built up here. Was it removed? I don't re remember that happening over here though, so why did it happen up there? Huh. I don't know. Whatever. One, two, three, four. So we'll have just enough to reach a planetary capital eventually. Barely. <laughs> but it will get there. Which what? what? Ooh. Oh, I guess it's one of those it's not showing up things for whatever reason. Maybe because they were starving? I don't know. Alright. Now we can do the terraforming here. Ten years, really? Wow.
Well, not quite 10 years, but pretty fucking close to 10 years. Huh. Interesting. Research complete. Well, that doesn't really surprise me. I mean, terraforming would take a hell of a long time, but... I am a little... I am a little surprised that it's going to actually take that long, but... Oh, we can tell colonize two worlds. Yes, please. I will take that. That'll be useful. However, uh, final thing that I'm going to do this episode... Uh, since I decided I, was, I am going to split this in half, I've continued to record here. Uh, but the final thing that we're going to do is I'm going to come into here... And we're going to select the Quipulsi. And I'm going to make you guys... Uh... What do I want to do with you? Energy credits. I think. And the modify. Situation log updated. And then we come down, find the thing, oh lord. <laughs> And, uh, research. And voila! It'll take a while, but they'll get there. And that'll help us make more energy credits. Yay! It'll help us make more energy credits, and eventually we will absorb... Or, uh, I'm gonna go through and basically do upgrades for all of the, uh, species, but... Uh, it's going to take a while. So, uh, thank you for watching, folks. Like and subscribe, of course, if you enjoy my stuff. I will see you in the next one, uh, in which point we're probably going to go to war with the Penthulans. I think. Yeah. I think we're going to go to war with them. Uh, they have a lot of fucking ships. So <laughs> they got a lot of fucking ships. They have, uh, frankly, kind of a ridiculous amount of ships, to be honest with you. But... We'll be able to do it eventually. It's going to be nasty, though. They are, It is going to be a very, very difficult fight, because they have a lot more ships than anybody that I have encountered so far. And... They are not going to make it easy for me to uh, just move in here and, like, crush them or anything. Because they're definitely prepared for it. So, <laughs> so I'm going to have to spend a little bit of time in between episodes probably building up my fleet some more. Uh, now, I do have the... I do have to remember I have the Avabians to help me. Um, and they will help me, so those fleets of theirs will... You know, their fleets are essentially the equivalent of one of these guys' fleets. So that's basically like two fleets of the enemies that I don't have to contend with. But that still leaves a lot of ships. So, yeah. It's not going to be easy. Uh, I might make a lesser fight first, maybe? Maybe? And try and, like... Get the is trans or somebody. Uh, I just saved, so like, can I make? No, looks like I can't. I wanted to see if I can make the uh, is trans join me as a minor faction or whatever, but as a uh. uh Ooh. Oh, I guess if somebody's sufficiently weak enough, uh, you can't make them a vassal. 
technologically weak enough, I guess. You can't make them a vassal. They turn into vassals once they research 40% of the amount of text compared to their overlords. At which point you could, uh, make them join you. But you can't until then. Interesting. Is interesting. Mm. The Dari mandate these guys. Now I can. Oh, because they're already vassalized. I can't vassalize them. Ugerlock Empire. Oh, that's not good. I didn't realize that they had joined the group with uh, the Penthulans, so I won't be able to get them. That was the other idea that I was thinking is, oh, maybe I get the Ugerlocks and somebody else to join. Uh, but no, I can't. All right, what about the Assembly of Pengar? What about those two Pengars? Pengar there and Pengar over there. Uh, oh well. Uh, so let's see. Oh, I could make... I could vassalize you. That might not be a bad idea. Like, vassalize Pengar. Vassalize... Uh, like, could I vassalize the Karamalons? Ooh, you. Ooh, you're in with the uh, conglomerate. That's not good. Oh, and you're a little too strong for me to vassalize, too. Well, shit. Oh, well. Hmm. Oh well, I guess there's nothing I can do about that. Uh, I could try to get, like, these guys, or... You're really too far away, though. Like, I need somebody who is... close-ish. I guess Pencar is the only one that I could do this with. So I might vassalize Pencar. And then we can go to war with the Penthulans once they have a little bit of time to recover. We'll see. The problem with that doing that, of course, is pretty obvious. Uh, if I go to war with them, by themselves in particular, uh, they're not likely to survive uh, intact, but... Oh well. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. Like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.